So Barclay made one other interesting point in that. He said that the Mavericks have to win game five. That's a fairly reasonable thing to say, right? A series is 2-2. Uh, the winner of game five obviously will be up 3-2. And we hear this a lot about must-win games, the importance of winning a game in the series or the series is over. So I spent a great ben, deal of time yesterday. Ben did a lot of research. I did this. I did this. I have, be like Rush Limbaugh, I have papers. I have a fax. So... I went through the NBA Finals every year since 1950 and determined which games the champion won. If you won it in seven games, what were your four wins? One, three, five, seven, was it a sweep, five game? What were your four wins? You work for Turner Classic Movies, right? That's right. They must not have you very busy. <laughs> uh, this is good stuff, though. Um, Rick, we went over this a little bit, but I was interested to find out Leaving out Game Seven, because if you if you if it was a seven-game series, the winner of Game Seven won a hundred percent of the series. So we'll leave that one out. Which series has the best winning percentage? Which game in the series do you think has the best winning percentage? The team that wins that game goes on to win the series. What percentage of the time? It would seem like either Game One or Game Three. I would I would think. Well, you're. I would have thought that as the series went along, the number would just go up. As you got further and further along, the games become more important as you are as you increase the likelihood that a team gets to four. But it's not actually the case. You're right. 74% of the teams that win game one in the NBA Finals go on to win the championship. Uh, and that is the highest number. It's tied for the highest number with game five and, no, I'm wrong. I'm sorry, it's tied with game six. Winner of game six wins the championship 74% of the time, but that counts the 22 times the game six was the deciding game. So you're saying game, game one and six are both 74%? Game one and six are 74%. Okay. But of course, as I said, sometimes game six is the last game. Teams up three, two, they win. Obviously they win the series. So, um, game two is the least important game, 64%. How come? I, a little unclear, because frequently the team that loses game, wins game one, comes back and loses game two, and then reseizes control of the series in game three. But it's at 64%. And if you eliminate sweeps from it, and there's technically really no reason to, but I thought, let's just take out for a second the series that are blowouts that are just over in four games. It's only 58%. So a series that is evenly matched to the point where a team wins at least one game, the winner of game two wins the series just 58% of the time. So it is the, it is the most often won game for a losing team in a championship series. Interesting. Very. Game yeah. three, two out of three times, 66% for game three. Um, but there is one very interesting stat about game three we'll get to. Game four goes is the same as game two. It's 64% uh, uh, also. Game four also can be not that important. But there are two very important facts about game two and game four, which we'll bring up too. Game five, by the way, also 64%. So apparently, when I said that game two was the least important, it's a tie. It's games two, games four, and game five. All 64% indicating that, and game three is 66%, indicating that maybe no game is really a lot more important than any other game. But you do believe in a, this is a must win game. You do, right? I believe it. There are frequently games that are clearly incredibly important to win. So, like tonight, you would label this a must win for Dallas. I don't like that kind of language, Rick. But because Dallas has but won. But to go back to Miami for two games, right. I, I would consider this a must win for Dallas. Well, as Charles Barkley said in the earlier clip, that you got to be an idiot to think Dallas can win two games in Miami. And this has always been my way of thinking about that. And mainly it's just a psychological difference. Of course, Dallas would have to win two games in Miami. But really, 
they just have to win one game. They have to win game six. And then they play game seven. And Miami has to win that game too. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I agree with you. Well, if they win game six, and we know they can win in Miami, they already have won in Miami. All they got to do is go on a 17-2 run to end the game, and they can win a game. It's no big deal. Just do that again. It's no big What's the problem? Talking yeah. out of your ass, man. <laughs>